a few steps further and you get there. Two steps back and run forward. Yeah, and you get there after a while, you know. And you don't, you don't tell the rest of them that. Like no, that. of course not, no. Oh, yeah. Tell me, would you, what, what would you have to say to Albert now and the rest of them up there and all hearing about the farming uh, oh, situation? Well, I'll tell you something. He, 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 hasn't do too, he hasn't done too well for them in Logford anyhow, has he? <laughs> Well, he has done more for them in the West. And well, wait now, could you elaborate on that? What, what, are you saying he's doing more for the people in Longford than he is in people of West Vietnam? Oh, no, no, he's not, he's not too bad now. He's, he's helping them out Midland and, the, and Westmead or the West. Well, Westmead. Could, could he do any more for them in, in Westmead? Yeah, but he, he can't because they, they didn't win an our iron yet, sure. <laughs> I don't think you'd have much control over that anyhow, like, you know. What type of farming are you into? Is it cattle or sheep? Or it's kind of mixed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, what sort of prices now are the cattle? Are they good? Well, uh, you're, uh, it varies. Like, one, one year you're getting a big price, and next year they're down. And does it pay you to be in farming now? I mean, uh, people will say that the farmers are better off than anybody else now. They're making more money than anybody else. Well, it's hard to know about the farm and butcher. When you look about 300 acres, that farm down in, uh, where was it? Down in Donegal there, where? That one went west, you see. Like, the smaller fella might be better off. He's happier anyhow, like, you know, isn't he? Yeah, he's happier. Yeah, he's like, happier. I mean, he's stable. Yeah, but the people in Dublin always think that the farmers were driving around in rolls in 94 uh, yeah. Mercedes vans. Well, they often thought that, but the same when you bring up a bullock now, you bring him up for a cab. You bring him up from calf like that. They think he doesn't eat grass so you haven't to watch him all the years or something. <laughs> you know, like, I think he comes up in the air. <laughs> well, he doesn't. The trouble is he doesn't. Yeah. Well, what to rear him, you have to watch him. It's like, a, it's like a little baby. You have to bring him up from child. You know, you have to bring him up from... What, what do you think of all the girls here tonight now? Is it good time? Uh, there's a few, there's a few beautiful ones there already. Yeah. Did any of them catch your eye tonight? No, I didn't. I, like I was drinking porter there for a while. So I couldn't, I couldn't, you couldn't be, you couldn't be occupied every way, you know. Speaking of, of the porter, what do you think of the price of the pint now? It's not so bad, right? That last segment, I don't know. Give it, a, give it a bit of a pinch, all right. Then. There's a lot of people saying well, I, I was working all right around Sunday pints, all right, but now I don't know. There's a lot of people saying that the pint should be two pound. It's too cheap as it is. Well, it's not in Dublin, isn't it? Could be, yeah. Could be, yeah. yeah but what, what's I, I, I think now where it was that here, I won't be drinking. <laughs> if it goes over the two pound, you won't drink a tonic. Yeah, I like the taste of it, you know. Yeah, there is something to there. <laughs> it's a nice taste here, is it, Tommy? Oh, it tells a lovely taste. The cold, the cold pine that you fills up there, sure, it's, it's beyond the real, the real thing. You couldn't get it in that river out there, the cross river. <laughs> you think people should travel down here to the mill and get a pint down here and stop it? The cross river, sure. Uh, j- that's real, um, you know, that's spring water, spring water, but the cold pint out there is better than anything I've ever been. Do you agree with that? Yeah! Well, you know, Tommy, you're a great character. You're a great character to talk about. Are you going to sing a song for us, anyhow? Yes. Oh, okay, well, okay, I'll try. What song are you going to sing, Tommy? Um, one of Paddy Reilly's. Paddy Reilly's. Paddy Reilly. yeah. I'll see now. The Lonely Prison Walls. The Lonely Prison Walls, right. Good man. Give him a big bowl of us. Great stuff. If you, if you hold that microphone about three or four inches away from yourself, you'll be okay. Okay, then. The lonely prison walls I heard a young girl calling Michael, they have taken you away For you stole Trebellion's corn So the young might see the morn a present 
ship lies waiting in the bay. Against the sky, for I love 
Do you know that? Yeah. Huh? Not about it. You're a mighty uh, popular man here, aren't you? I am uh, very popular in the in the comic side, Jeff. No, you're fine. I, I think after this, now you you know you could be out there with Daniel O'Donnell or something like that. Well, I I don't know. I don't know. Now. Who's your favourite singer, anyhow, Tommy? Mick Clavin. Mick Clavin. What do you like most of all about big singing? Well, I'm not saying, but he, he, some of your songs there, like you say, I can't think of, I can't think of them now. But some of your songs. Big Flavin is your favourite, anyhow. Yeah, yeah, huh? The man there saying me that. Anyhow, give him a big round of applause. He done, he done very well. Great sport. And you know, it's great, it's great to meet a character like Tommy, because I suppose going back in time, and I can go back in time, I don't know, can you go back as far as me, Tommy? When is that? Uh, 1900. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was always a character in a village or a, an area, and I think Tommy tonight made it here tonight, not saying anything against the other artists. Will you give him a big round of applause? I said they have to need a say and say something. You're going back now to have your pint, your good pint. Well, uh, yeah, well, it could be a, 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 a tough pint now, any of them. We have uh, Neil O'Shea and Theresa up there. Right, yeah, let's hear it for him. For Neil and Theresa O'Shea, he says. Give them a big round of applause. Yeah. Right, thanks very much, Tommy. Good man yourself. Tommy White is a gentleman there. And I don't know, there's two lads video here, or two video men I should say, and uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not too sure if there'll be copies available. Will there be copies available? Will you be showing it back here, you will? So you let us know, and can we all come back and look at it? Great, great, great stuff. Okay, I'm getting the signs here now. Uh, the owner here, the proprietor of the premises, Neil O'Shea. Get him out here. Come on, Neil. Come on, Neil. So for the visitors, there's plenty, plenty to do around here. Well, there's no shortage of talk, anyhow. That's one thing that <laughs> seems to be on the increase. <laughs> and, um, 
Yeah, they do enjoy themselves. Young, young and old knock around here together, and uh, the, you know, there's no distinction. And everybody has the crack together, and I think that that's very, very important. And it's the people themselves that create the atmosphere, as far as I'm concerned. Well done. Thanks very, very much indeed. How many nights in a week do you have music? Well, um, mostly just one night on a Saturday night, but anything could erupt here at any time, either day or night. So, you know, like, uh, people can come in, as you can see yourself, you know, you have defeated that situation yourself already tonight. Uh, <laughs> so you're going, to, you're going to sing a song or play guitar for us? Or are you going to do both? You're going to do both? Okay. Do you get many people coming in here and saying they get it very hard to find the place on account of the uh, bypass here? Uh, not really. I'd say it, it, it's amazing the amount of people that uh, get themselves lost on the bypass and find the place by accident rather than by design, you know. The main thing is that they find it anyhow. Uh, they do, yeah. And uh, no, I'd say the bypass and hopefully even the, the road is improved up further on from here between now and uh, here and the village. We're hoping for that uh, in the near future and it's in the pipeline uh, to use. Uh, a phrase that's uh, more often misquoted than quoted. Um, this this road is improving, and, and uh, you know there's a big build up of population in this area, even in depressed times. Like I mean, there have been quite an amount of uh, you know there's new housing has been going up here in uh, you know in, in the area for over the last number of years, even in depressed times. I'd like to thank all the people that you know contributed here tonight and that came along, and indeed to yourself, Shannon's side. And I, there's two people I especially like. It's not the right thing to do to single out anybody, but I'd have to thank uh, Peter Keegan and his wife Bernie. They that sowed the seeds of Shannon's side around here, and 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 they, they that put this act together themselves. And uh, you know, all the people that contributed, you know, is brilliant. You know. And I hope it's a success for you for a long radio. I don't, I don't like this, this last part of it, but you know, I hope that the, yeah, you have your equipment uh, very well insured. Oh, we're well insured. Everybody's going to go mad here with Tommy's guitar playing, right? Okay. Sorry, Tommy. I'm gone. It's Neil, the provider here at the premises. Just while they're strumming up there, folks, uh, somebody said that the recording will be going out on Sunday. It won't be going out on this Sunday. There wouldn't be time to edit it. But Sunday week, all things being well, it will be uh, transmitted. Our excerpts from it will be transmitted. Uh, depending on how things are, there may be matches come on at 2 o'clock or half 2. We're not too sure yet. But, but certainly, it was a great night. Did you all enjoy yourselves? Yeah. yeah great. Great. Not over yet. No, it's not. not so. We're only beginning yet, somebody said. Thank you. 